Remember when I mentioned Twitter should get a filter? Day three, I just made it to the Newfoundland Ferry Terminal. I'm waiting to board it now. It just started pouring, so that's why I'm hiding in my, my cabin here. You see this Mercedes back here? That Mercedes? Uh, I was talking to the guy, he had an Ontario plate, but he ended up actually, when I asked him where he's from, he actually told me he's from Israel. Wasn't the answer that I was expecting, so when he started talking to me, he had like a really thick Middle Eastern accent, and he told me all the stories about how he was in like the Israeli army for a couple of years, he served in a war, he owns a few companies in Markham, Ontario, and a few companies in Israel, and it's just so cool to meet this many people in this amount of time. I'm gonna go hide in, the fair, in my car now because it's uh, pouring rain and my back getting soaked, so I'll see you on the ferry. All right, I have silver hours for when I'm on this boat. Let's go adventure. Nothing to see here. See what I did there? And, and. I'm down the lower deck now. So that wall I just showed you is Torn Gap Mountains. It's a national park up in the northern tip of Newfoundland. Not sure I'll get there. But check this out. This is Signal Hill. I will get there. This is reserved seating. There's like three people in there right now. So I'm at a place called Green Point. It's a geological site from Park Canada. There's a nookshook. A little update, I bought this hat. It's a little cold in Newfoundland, so I figured again it took it maybe a little warmer. Um, I'll try to get somewhere less windy, which will probably be my forerunner to tell you more. So I'll be like, Two seconds. So this is Gross Morn National Park. A bit of it at least. I apologize for the wind.
Newfoundland. I got off the boat yesterday and it was rainy, foggy, and windy. Today it's beautiful, but windy. It's it's one hell of a one hell of an area. I can't really describe Newfoundland. It's like whoever whoever created Earth, whoever whoever created Earth or however Earth was created, it's like they didn't like mainland Canada and Europe. They think there's just too much space between it, so I guess whoever it was or whatever was just decided like they took a piece of Northern Ontario, a piece of BC, and a piece of Iceland and just smush it together and and just put it into the middle of the Atlantic. It's like, pictures don't do it justice. You honestly have to come here and just look. I'm on the north western side of it right now. I'm going to St. Anthony tonight. It's just like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm sure all of you would love to see more of Newfoundland and I'm going to as well. But um, I have to talk a little bit about one thing first and this is, uh, this is it right here. So this is right here. I was talking to a guy by the name of Dan yesterday on the on the ferry over, and he works with youth defenders. And he's an artist. He does crafting and sculptures and whatnot. And he was uh, with the youth defenders one day and crafting something. And one of the kids said it looked like a like a like a jigsaw puzzle. What he what he what he created with these stones. And from there he got the idea to like create this sort of necklace where he goes and gives them to people and he had such a strong connection to like life it was as if I can't even describe it honestly you have to meet the guy but anyways he ended up giving me this this piece this jigsaw puzzle piece and the way it works is that now I'm a part of his jigsaw puzzle of life and, I, and he's a part of my jigsaw puzzle of life and it's just so awesome to think that someone can do that with their creativity. I mean, it's not fancy at all, it's not flashy, it's just like something to remember. And I'm always going to attempt to wear this wherever I am, and I'm always going to remember that, that moment. That I'm always going to remember that six hour fair ride with Dan and his, and his wife. They're just such nice people. I hope there's a ton more to come, but like just, it just, it just, it just blows my mind there are people out there like that, and it's awesome. Definitely puts my faith in humanity for the greater good. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I'm gonna try to get to St. Anthony or some point, edit the what I have, and release it. I'm doing something over the next couple of days that I never thought I'd be doing. I found out this morning, which is Sunday morning. Also, I'm on watch, so that's a good thing. Uh, so I'm doing this Tuesday. It'll be in the vlog, trust me. Um, I can't freaking wait for it. Uh, I didn't expect this to be happening. I found, out, I found out this morning. So you'll all see that in the next vlog. There'll be more gross more in the next vlog because I have to come back through this way to do it. So I will see you then.